Hi, I'm Joe with Rogue Fabrication. Today we're going to do a demo on the Model 600 XHD. This is the same uh, as the Model 600 you've seen in our other videos, except it's got a thicker frame, a uh, bigger diameter main bending pin, and there's a couple other little changes we made. All the same dies can fit in this machine if they're bored out, and its purpose is to bend thicker walled tubing, uh, which would usually be used for like lower control arms, some suspension components, and proving a point. Today we are going to be bending 2 inch A36 hot rolled solid bar and 2 inch 3 8 wall 1026 DOM. This is a 90,000 PSI yield material and this is about 59,000 PSI yield so this is actually a little bit stronger. Uh, this is the same bender, model 600. They can fit our thin wall attachment which we're going to explain in a different video and it bends thin stuff. So this is 060 stainless. It does a pretty good job considering the thin wall on it. And um, this is just an example piece that we notched a whole bunch of holes in to show the different stuff our notcher can grip on, but that's a different topic. Today we're going to bend some tubing. We'll start with the bar. And I've already attached the clamp blocks to the machine, just to make it easier to load it. One nice feature of our guys with separate clamp blocks is you can pre-clamp a bunch of material to make repeat parts or production or whatever else you'd like to do that way. runs extremely slow on a really, really, really heavy wall material like this. It goes faster on this stuff like roll cage material. There's not much point in bending a lot further. Once it can bend, it can bend it. So you can see the hot roll mill scale flaking off of this thing, kind of ugly, but uh, clearly it can bend it. And this is room temperature. People have asked us in our other videos, hey, did you heat that? No, we did not heat it. Okay, now for the real tough one. And again, this one's 1026 alloy, higher carbon than the 1020. It's usually used for hydraulic cylinder manufacturing, which is why it's got that heavy wall thickness. Okay. So, again, uh, reasonable it can bend, and this is the super thick stuff, uh, 90,000 PSI yield, and the main reason to bend this, uh, unless you are a crazy person, is just to prove a point. Uh, our customers like to know that we test our tools harder than they ever will, and uh, our warranty on the dies can't be beat, and frankly, they're pretty tough to break. There's not another machine out there that can touch this on price and can do this kind of bending, and still do the thin wall stuff. So we do make the most versatile tools, and if you want to see all the videos that prove it, uh, check them all out. We've got a YouTube channel, more videos on our webpage if you're viewing us on our webpage right now. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and check us out on Instagram. 
And uh, as always, bend safe and have fun. <laughs>